just about ready to go. Ready and sent on their way. Make a deal was jostled out of the gates over here. Mercurial Jet not that well away. And Antonio Augusta is racing at the tail end of the field. But Ray Flambe was quickly away with Dream Star behind that minstrel gallery. White Witch is racing very wide in the early stages. Racinantes three lengths off them. Then came Platinum Run and Duchess of Africa make a deal in behind those. Then Sweet Ahan is racing seven lengths off the leader with Mercurial Jet. Make that eight or nine now. And Antonio Augusta is the trailer. They run down past the 1200 meter mark and White Witch after racing wide early on goes to head the field here. Minstrel Gallery is racing back in second, got two lengths to make up Ray Flambe on the rail in third. Then came Duchess of Africa, followed by Racinantes, three to go. Dream Stars along the rail of Blue Sleeves and Cap further back to make a deal and Platinum Run. A further two lengths away to Sweet Ohana. Mercurial Jet is eight lengths off the leader and Antonio Augusta will turn for home right at the tail end. Down the home straight they come with 700 to go. White Witch is tackled now by Ray Flambe and Minstrel Galleries down the centre. Racinanti, two lengths to go. Mercurial Jets made up significant ground down the inside and running home strongly. Then came Dream Star furthered back in the field. White Witch continues to roll here. Huh? 300 to go. Minstrel Galleries and all sorts of problems down the outside. White Witch leads. Ray Flambe down the inside. Then came Platinum Run and behind that Mercurial Jet and down the inside is Dream Star. It's now in front. Ray Flambe hits the front from White Witch. Platinum Run is making a daunting run down the inside and Racinanti, but it's going to be Ray Flambe. Maybe just hang on. Ray Flambe won it from Racinanti, Platinum Run and White Witch. Daughter of Red Ray, Ray Flambe has won it. Uh, purchased from the Birch Brothers for only 15,000 Rand. Being a daughter of Red Ray and Lim Kotwa has got uh, his name on the board fairly early in proceedings here. Ray Flamby beats Racinanti, uh, Platinum Run, I think, third, and White Witch fourth. First of the day goes the way of Sharon Cotson Racing, Lou McCourtwa in the Irons, Ray Flambe placed in her last two starts, and she goes better today. She grabs that gold. And uh, Lou, you've had only a good relationship with her since you've climbed aboard, you found the placings, and now you found the winner's box, so you'll be happy with that. No, 100% Eddie, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with that. And, uh, since she sheet form, um, she didn't take long to, to come out of the maidens, so hopefully she can carry on with the form. Um, she got, got me a bit worried today. You know, I, I bounced off in that draw. There was a couple of, of horses that I didn't really fancy in, 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 in the race, so I didn't want to be too far back and get caught yeah. behind them. And uh, she, she over-raced. She pulled me, pulled me. You know, when the horse came around, I would have liked just to, to settle you know, quite early, and she just wouldn't settle. And eventually she settled on top of the tread. I just put my but hand. But then there's that one that did she do too much. Yes, you yeah. know, it's, it's playing in the back of your head. So on top of the tread, I just put my hands down, just not fight her, and she just gained that momentum. She kind of switched off on top of the straight. Um, but in my mind, I, I had a feeling that uh, the damage is already done. But so uh, when I asked her to quicken up, you know, to fit her the bridle, she took the bridle. I was like, okay, well, we can still do something. And when I asked her to quicken up, she gave her a very good kick. And then the last hundred, she had enough. Obviously, you know, the damage was done, as I said. Um, yeah. So, but uh, she, she won a she courageous race, you know, if she can settle and learn how to race properly. Um, I'm pretty sure she can pick up one or two winners again, you know, with that lower rating like that. Yeah, and I just well done to the owner. I believe it was his birthday the other day, so happy birthday, birthday again today. And I uh, well done to the SKR Yad as well. And uh, thank you to my sponsor, Mrs. Bitch, as well. Uh, thank you. Fantastic, Louis. Well done. Thank you. Louis in the winner's box for the first. This is a combination that is uh, really doing well at the moment. And Sharon's going to step in for a word on number two, Ray Flambe, taking the win. But in saying that, newcomer Platinum Run certainly didn't disgrace herself finishing in third. And we're just going to hold that for two seconds for Sharon. She's popular for all the right reasons. You're always, you're always in favour when you find the winner's box. I didn't want to throw the phone this time because just now it's not going to get caught. <laughs> No. Well, I was just saying, Ray Flambe, I mean, I know she had the form. You were hoping she could get the win, but you'll be thrilled with first time for the yard run, platinum run, finishing in third. She definitely, um, I just said to Teek, wow, where did she pull that out yeah. from? So um, it just goes to show you don't really know what you're dealing with, and that's why we say it is a educational run. Yes. Um, we knew she needed further than the, the sprint races, and uh, hopefully she can pick up one shortly for the owners. Oh, fantastic. And, and um, yeah, Ray Flambe, you heard... Um, um, Louis saying a little bit of a scare there with not settling, but she still found enough to win. Yes, yeah, she did, and you know she was so unlucky last time. She got caught right on the line, but she saved it to wish uh, 
Mark, uh, happy birthday. It was his go. birthday uh, a couple of days ago, and then he had one winner in Durban, I think it was, and uh, now he's followed up with his second one today. He said he was waiting for this one. So happy birthday to Mark, and thanks very much for all the support. And, uh, you know, it's much appreciated, yeah. and it's nice to get his colours across the line. Sharon, just a quick shout out to some runners that are stepping out that could also have chances. Uncle George, we know he's got to behave himself. We know he's his own biggest enemy, but what a great third last time out. Yes, it was. And, you know, my other stable companion that lost the jockey also played a lot of yes. interference with a lot of the horses in the race. Um, he is his own worst enemy. He just has to load. If yes. he loads and jumps, then I think he is a, a nice runner there. A horse like Madam Vicky, also new to the yard and uh, can could be anything. Work been very good. Uh, the only unknowns are the Jobic and Durban mm -hmm. uh, horses form. But uh, work has been good and she's fit and well. And Wings of Fire, competitive field, but oh, she always tries. She does try and, you know, my heart always says Wings of Fire, but my head says, you know, it, it is very open and she is taking on the boys, but um, she is going to do her best. And those are the three I've picked out, but please feel free if you think I've missed anyone. I know Little Miss KJ, also temperamental, can be there. And Last Storm is better than his last. Little Miss KJ has got a very nice galloping weight uh, in a maiden handicap. And um, she ran a cracker last time and, uh, you know, just at the end, my rider got a little bit yeah. more tired than what she did. But um, no excuses. Uh, Julius just has to get onto her. Yeah, once you're on her, then yeah. she's pretty normal. And um, I'm hoping that she can run in the money. Yeah. For, her, for, for the owners as well. Oh, fantastic. Well, stay right there because I do see Sharon Cotson Racing uh, is part owner along with Gregory Cotson who's going to join and uh, do duty for the Racehorse Owners Association check, 15,000 Rand. So there's even more for your um, happy birthday owner to, yes. be, to be excited about. Oh, well so done, very, Mark, very well done. Well done for being a, a member. <laughs> Don't know if you want to hand over to Greg if he wants to chat. Not keen to chat. Yeah. It's been a big week for... <laughs> Uh, Greg this week so I'm glad to see that everything has ended off well and it's a big congratulations to the Sharon Cotson team. Yes and I'd just like to say congratulations to Birch Brothers for breeding this filly. Oh fantastic. And a big thank you to my sponsors World Sports Betting. Of course. <laughs> there you have it.